dear viewers in this video i am explaining class 10 unit 3 human relations in that a reading the journey this chapter is written by yeshe dorji tongchi he is an assamese and he got sahitya academy award in 2005 most of his works include cultural life as well as tribal societies problems relationship with humans everything this uh, unit is beginning with a wonderful picture we can see it is a realistic picture that is happening in our village itself so some lines are over here let's see as i sit here alone and waiting i gaze at people passing me by i try to smile and reach out to them but no one notices no one waits they look to me like i am nothing are they afraid to be seen saying hi to an old man like me so according to that picture we can see he is experiencing his old age and loneliness so what is the excerpt about so in short we can see an old man's soliloquies can be called as here how do people respond to the old man's plight so we can see no one is noticing him isn't it that is answer how should all the people be treated so that they do not feel neglected as a youngster or as a teenager uh, you can make their world more colorful how means by spending a little time with them let's start the journey after spending leisurely Sunday at home, the very thought of returning to work on Monday is tiring. Lethargy creeps in if the holiday continues over an extended period. That is how I feel when I was preparing to return to my place of work after spending six months at home. The fact that I was to leave behind my newly wed wife and go to a far off place did not help either. Obviously, I did not want to go. In the first paragraph itself, we can see in what situation the author is. He is feeling lethargy. Lethargy means a state of laziness, not having much enthusiasm. So let's check why he is experiencing this lethargy. Lethargy he is experiencing because after six months staying back at home, he wants to go back to his workplace. His workplace is little far away and at this time he is more lethargy feeling because he has a wife also. So he has a newly wed wife. As a student or teacher, you also may experience this lethargy when means most of the Mondays, you are lazy to woke up even, isn't it? Uh, after summer vacations or long vacations like uh, Pongal holidays or Dasara holidays, after that, you want to be fit in a regular time period, isn't it? So, a starting trouble may be there. Like this, he also experiencing that. Moving on, second paragraph. However, I finally did decide to go. I did not have much to carry by way of luggage just a trunk trunk means it is an old metal to carry luggage in ancient time uh, most of our parents are using such a trunk in school time even so such a trunk only who has our other has ours is a hilly terrain without any motorable roads and there is no certainly that we are ever going to have any roads. In any case, while coming home, we do not carry bedding. Besides, I had come home this time round for a special purpose to get married. My parents had arranged my marriage according to the customs of our tribal society. Time flew and five months into my marriage, I realized it. Initially, I thought of extending my leave, even taking unpaid leave. But after some delay, delaying, 
I finally decided against it because marriage had increased my responsibilities and I got I had got into debt. In the second paragraph we can see author decided but first paragraph he was not decided he has such a mind such a mind means very much lazy mind isn't it we seen there is a word for that lethargy lethargy means tiredness weariness the state of not having any energy or enthusiasm for doing things but second paragraph he thought about his unpaid leave this time he has more responsibility because he got married maybe in that marriage itself he got some debt also anyway for his better life and good future he decided to move for the job then only an average middle class man can manage his day to day life on my way home from the bus stop my trunk had been carried by a porter the problem now was we couldn't find anyone who could help me carry the trunk to the bus stop at another time of the year we would have easily found someone to help me but now most of the villagers were busy in the fields nobody had time to spare for me in fact carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for me except that my education had made me shun physical labor after all i was a government officer and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing otherwise for a young man like me it should not have been an issue to carry a 20 kilo chest on my back the problem was uh, when he came to home during that vacation period 6 month before someone helped him a porter helped him to carry his luggage but returning to the bus stop or returning to the journey no one was there for him the interesting thing is uh, he was uh, reluctant to carry his own luggage as he had the feeling that if he uh, carried the luggage the whole world would laugh at him such a mind who has our other has he thought that his uh, education had made him shun physical labor he has shy to do such physical labor if i were in the other's place what i will do means i will carry my own things that is my proud moment isn't it like we say everyone in our present scenario that is the exact reality that means and everyone having high education maybe engineers are there maybe doctors are there they are shy to go outside for carrying their daily things from the shop even they are shy to go to the ration shops even it may affect their status like this they are thinking such a character who is our other here we can see about the character he is a newly wedded man and he has government job that much only we seen up to here moving on finally my father came up with a solution don't worry i myself will see you off at dirang so dirang is a place in arunachal pradesh up to that area i will come with you maybe for dropping but that even in walking i protested how could i allow my old father to carry my trunk what would people think again he has such a image problem what would they say but i failed to dissuade him it was decided that father would carry the chest here the word chest here means and the belongings or baggages so up to here we can see he is going to start the journey only our other that middle aged man maybe he is a government officer also he not started the journey he is going to start only uh, at home itself his father said that and decided that i will come with you and i will carry your luggages or baggages or trunk that trunk is more than 10 kilos isn't it 
10 to 20 kilos something we have seen that directly from the text yeah exactly 20 kilos moving on a large crowd gathered at our place the day i was to leave people had come to wish me luck it was 10 20 when i left for dira my father had already left as i had to do a bit of catching up i walked fast three kilometers down the road i caught up with my father father said you are late would you like to rest for some time so we can see how a father is giving care to a son so he is informing him now itself you are late three more kilometers from here we have to move while that traveling that journey itself he was tired that also who noticed the father noticed and if you need rest we can sit somewhere over that corner side somewhere like this father is suggesting to that son but think that he is free handed he don't have much weight or luggages but father only having weights and luggages so in every family father is a symbol of sacrifice isn't it such a sacrifice we can see in this picture also having walked fast i was tired moreover i had to cross two hills on the way up to the spot i quickly sat down on a rock my father laughed at my plight so plight means here uh, situations our condition can be called as plight so why he was laughed because he don't have such a energy isn't it actually our main character want to reach at dirag so from that dirag only he will get the bus to the other place where he is working so for reaching there up to dirag he has to walk more than three kilometers that's why he was tired so the little uh, distance has tired you rest for a while but we have to be in time for the bus so these are the words of father father was quiet for some time he thoughtfully looked at the sun for a moment and then his eyes fell on the can of homemade wine that i was carrying wetting his lips with his tongue he said in a matter of fact manner i am thirsty so during the relaxation time father noticed other is carrying a can of wine isn't it maybe that can was given by another relatives or maybe mother so he said that he need that wine that is indirectly he said i am thirsty isn't it i gave him the can of wine he poured himself a mug and handed me the can he drank all of it at one go he then arranged the belt that was attached to the trunk carefully on his forehead so this was the picture my father carrying my luggage on his back and me following him with a tiny bag in my hand we were walking up a narrow hilly road and neither of us uttered a word as if we were strangers who spoke difficult languages i did not know what was going on in his mind from time to time it crossed my mind that it was improper for me to let father carry the luggage i wanted to tell him that i would like to carry the trunk myself and my guilt and shame did not allow me to do so this self consciousness had probably to do with my education the white collar job that i had or quite simply my pride somehow i had the feeling that if i carried the luggage my father and my people in fact the whole world would laugh at me and i would be belittled so in this long paragraph we can see uh, other's father 
is drinking wine and safely again keeping back that wine can of wine to the other and they started their walk to dirag while that moving time to the dirag he not uttered any words they not spoke each other so he is feeling he has a feeling who has a feeling our other has a feeling that what i am doing is not right because i am giving 20 kilos of this trunk to my father my father is an old man but still i am having that shame because of this white collar job this type of silly things i will not do such a mind who has our other has so that is called here that condition can be called as what be littled be littled means it's a state of mind that job if i am doing that will affect my image so while that moving time he was thinking all these situations in his mind because if he is uh, taking this heavy carriage everyone will laugh at him some blunders will come to him like this who is thinking our other is thinking why because he don't have such experience by doing hard job or difficult job or practical jobs while analyzing this chapter we can notice that the major portion of this chapter is actually the thinkings of other itself the soliloquies of the other itself soliloquies means the person who is speaking to himself about the situations so such a thoughts of other we can see majority of the portion anyway moving on father had provided for my education and i had been able to realize his dreams my parents were truly proud of me it was through me that they had earned a greater degree of admiration and respect from the villagers my father would not like to see me carrying a trunk on my back and would be very hurt if i did so i concluded that it would be better to let him carry it so at last our other thought that anyway let him carry because uh, maybe my parents also my father also will get a little bad image if father is giving this trunk to that son because he has what he has more um, status in that village our other has more status in that village so he is thinking that he is a skilled labor who is a skilled labor his father is a skilled labor i don't have such a experience so he is used to carry such heavy weights and everything so let him carry like this at last who decided our other decided maybe if i am carrying that he will get hurt or get feel so while uh, moving on all these thoughts came to our other father was used to carrying luggages anyway he was stronger and more skilled than me in these manners or matters i had never got used to physical labors having stayed in hostels right from my childhood from childhood onwards he has not getting such uh, hard jobs he was staying at hostel and studied and earned job so in spite of my youth and strength i was physically useless i continued walking silently with father we rested at two places on the way and had our tiffin but we hardly talked so two times they rested but two times they not spoke very nice way majority of the time they managed to be silent only finally we reached dirag the bus from tawang had not yet reached dirang and so we had some time in hand actually the bus from tawang had not yet reached dirang and so we had some time in hand maybe 5 minutes remaining they are waiting for the bus they came little early 
because of the directions and help has provided by the father we entered a tea shop and sat facing each other father appeared tired so father is now tired 3 kilometers more than 20 kilo 20 kilos of weights who was carrying on the chest father was only carrying i felt sorry for him but couldn't bring myself to say anything i asked the waiter to get us two cups of tea just as i was going to take my first sip i heard father's voice do you have a pair of old shoes so during that tea drinking time at that tea shop father is asking a question do you have a pair of old shoes any old shoes do you have who said who asked that father only asked to son why i asked that time he replied back as a question why why you need that old pairs of shoes the road is uneven and full of pebbles it hurts while walking because he was not having a pair of sandals or shoes while moving with this much of weights he was getting pain on the legs because he was not to, to use such a uh, posh type of shoes or this type of sandals i looked at father's bare feet never having worn shoes his feet had developed cracks and somehow resembled those of an elephant i noticed this for the first time i hadn't noticed that the roads was uneven so he was not noticed father is having uh, shoes or sandals is wearing or not not noticed and he was not aware regarding how difficult way was that he crossed or they crossed i didn't how to since i was wearing a pair of hunting boots i checked my wallet and so i still had around rupees 40 with me a pair of canvas shoes would cost around rupees 12 and the remaining amount would be enough for me to get to bomtila so suddenly he noticed that how much rupees he has around 40 rupees he has so he thought that if i am giving 12 rupees to father he will buy new one new pair of shoes but our father protested said that i don't need money let's see what happened my father protested give me an old pair you don't have to spend money to new shoes i couldn't convince him to buy a new pair so he much tried to give forcefully rupees to him for buying new pair of shoe but he rejected that i couldn't convince him to buy a new pair reluctantly i gave him the hunting boots i was wearing so in his bag there was hunting boots that a long covered boots he has that are even old one i then took on my pair of leather shoes from the trunk and i noticed my father's face lighting up with contentment so contentment means happy suddenly he looked at me and i said take care right to us that was the limited dialogues said by father father wanted to say something but the bus started moving i saw my father gradually reading receding into the distance i saw that the road we had come by looked like a giant motionless rock so for a long distance they traveled in that bus that bus is moving a long scene we can see father would use the same road to go back home simultaneously our journeys started in two opposite directions with me seated in the luxurious seat of a bus and father walking back with weary legs on pebble strewn road so we can see as a government officer and the other didn't accept the idea of people seeing him carrying his own luggage he has such a prestige 
problem or status problem isn't it a false prestige who has our author has he felt that his father would not like to see him carrying a trunk on his back and would be very hurt if he did so so he also thought that father also not like to see who is carrying this government officer is carrying a bag a bag on his back like ways who thought our author itself is thinking these are all the facts which show the author's false prestige actually and almost to the end we can see when the bus started moving the author saw his father gradually receding into the distance the author felt that their journeys started in two opposite directions actually with him seated in the luxurious seat of a bus and but father he was walking back with tired legs on the pebble strewn roads the phrases opposite directions actually here we can see and uh, the author itself suggests that both their directions were very difficult and different in the other sense the writer's way was a luxurious one as he was an educated one and a government officer he didn't need to lead such a hard and laborious life like his father used to lead in some way or another way we can see generation gap isn't it generation gap of old and new peoples how they are living lifestyle thinkings everything maybe we can say that that father want to show what is real life practical life hard work everything to that son isn't it but son thought in another way and while asking a pair of old shoe to his son that old man is showing what is money management hard work normal life anyway for the audience or for the readers who seen or who understood this chapter in that village or in that place who has more value that old man itself isn't it or this father a simple man with high thinking